anytime we have a femur fracture, the thigh bone is broken, there's a lot of pain for the patient because that muscle begins to contract and spasm. Rescuer one in this case is going to take, put one hand underneath the knee, the other hand under the ankle and pull manual traction, just rock back in position and that's going to pull traction on that leg. Obviously we won't be able to hold that for very long so this is where we're going to use the traction splint. In this case we use this small portable tent pole traction device, it's called a Kendrix. We measure from the top of the iliac crest or the hip bone on the good leg and we want it six inches longer than the bottom of the foot. We come around, we put the thigh piece on that the tent pole slides into. So take out whatever sections of the tent pole you need to. We put the ankle strap on. At this point in time, I'm going to put the red strap around the top of the thigh. Okay, the only time we want to do this is if it's a mid bone or mid shaft fracture. We don't want to do this if the fracture is within two inches of the knee or it's up in the hip. This is for kind of a center of the thigh. Now I come down and I'm going to go ahead and put my yellow part of my strap onto the black end and then I pull the red side. So what I'm doing now is taking the place of that manual traction that Rescuer 2 was giving. These straps are color coded just like a stop sign or a stop light. So I go red and then yellow. I put somewhere uh, below the fracture, so red right above, yellow right below, and then I put green around the ankle. So now I've taken the place of the traction, and then it's a good idea to put some sort of a pillow uh, underneath the knee for that little bit of bend that's left in the knee. In this case, your patient's pain level is going to go from a 8 or 10 down to a 1 or 2 because we've relieved that uh, spasm on the muscle.